Hey guys, Mitch from Shock Therapy, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to install the front link kit on a Textron Wildcat XX. This link kit is gonna do a couple of different things for you. Not only does it look really good and a lot better than the factory link, it's also much stronger. Helps prevent from breaking the actual link or any mounting points on the frame side itself. This link kit is also adjustable in the sense that if you ever have to replace a rod end, you can actually unscrew it from the link body itself and buy the replacement parts. This installation is fairly simple and should take you no longer than an hour or two to install it. Let's jump on in, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. With your front links already removed from the vehicle, you can grab the link kit and make sure it is measured to six and a half inches from center of hole to center of hole. Make sure to clock the lower rod end 90 degrees from the upper for correct fitment on the vehicle. Grab the required hardware in the kit and get ready for the installation on the vehicle. Okay guys, so something to look at here, you have three different spacers per side of the car. Um, this long shank spacer is gonna be your lower, the short stubby spacer is your upper, and the high miss spacer is also your upper. We're gonna show you which orientation those go. So starting with the upper, your short stubby spacer and your high miss spacer on the inside. The high miss is going to go against the sway bar. Insert the upper supplied bolt first. Make sure to put the washer on the back side of the sway bar along with the nut. So your long shank spacer is actually going to go on the back side of the link facing forward of the car. Once the link is installed into the lower arm, you can now insert the supplied bolt along with the washer and the nut. It is now time to tighten down the passenger side link. Starting with the lower hardware first, you can tighten that and then move to the upper hardware last. Once the upper and the lower hardware are tight, make sure that your spacer orientation is correct. Starting with the upper jam nut first, you can go ahead and lock this down using a 15 16 wrench. Once the upper is tight, you can then move to the lower jam nut. Repeat these steps on the opposite side. When all of your hardware for the link kit is tight and your jam nuts are locked down, your installation is complete. We hope that this video helped you guys with the installation of your front link kit at home. Now always remember after the first 100 to 200 miles to check those jam nuts and make sure that they are still tight. Like any other product that we offer, this link kit is made in the USA and offers the best rod ends that you can get on the market. This link kit is also much stronger than the factory one as well. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell to be notified anytime that we post a new video. For any of our other products, be sure to visit the website at www.shocktherapyusa.com. For any other technical help or questions, please feel free to give us a call at the shop at 623-217-4959. <laughs> you got this part down, huh, Josh? Okay. Yeah. Recording. Ha <laughs> ha. You ready? Okay, guys. Today and I couldn't help but wonder why. <laughs>